Lowering the humidity is definitely a good thing in your first alert forecast, but we start out with it high enough that we even have the fog mixed with the clouds and just taking rain gear with you. Having it handy because what pops up today will still be a couple of good downpours and storms. But at least this morning we're in the upper 60s, kind of right around normal, easing into it here on this Wednesday. Actually, you can see what I mean in terms of specks of rain still popping up like far northeast Tennessee. 7 a.m. We could easily have a couple of showers coming out of the layers of clouds between Crossful and Roan County, parts of the valley, a couple pop ups here in southeastern Kentucky. So just keeping it spotty, but they're still developing. 10 a.m. Still kind of a widely scattered coverage in those few showers and storms. Late morning to midday, notice a few more breaks in the clouds. So at least we're seeing a little more sun. That extra heat can actually create a couple of showers and storms. Gives it some extra energy to pop up. So that contrast there of sun and clouds helps with some isolated storms in the Smokies to far northeast Tennessee, parts of the valley, and the plateau to the Tennessee Kentucky line. Kind of evenly sharing that 20% coverage midday to early afternoon and then coming down. So we queue it up a little faster today, but also decrease that mild coverage faster. So more of a stray shower storms left over in the Smokies by sunset as a lot of us are seeing that sky clear and then we'll watch some fog develop later on tonight. That adds up to really a couple of good downpours here. I mean, these little blue streaks are your half an inch to an inch. The purple spots there spike up to one. So the key is that we do still have a couple of showers and storm is adding up in our area today. Overall, just a 20% coverage, especially mid to late morning on through your afternoon, and then it drops back this evening. That leaves us at 67 this morning to 76 at noon. Your high today, 83. Again, just an isolated shower or storm before sunset. Now it does still feel warmer, so the humidity is up enough that it feels about three to four degrees warmer as those spots of rain develop. That'll leave us feeling like 87 this afternoon in Knoxville and the feels like forecast where you live. Zoomed in here, you can see 86 Maryville, 86 Loudoun, feeling like 85 in Kingston to 78 Jamestown, catching that northerly wind shift here. 80s, what it'll feel like in Williamsburg to Tazewell and feeling like 83 in Morristown to Dandridge. So by tomorrow morning, we can all enjoy what'll be a cooler start and a mostly clear sky, just some patches of fog. So tomorrow's actually our got pick of the week. It's a mostly sunny day, not completely dry, mainly catching a couple of showers and storms in the mountains. And a stray shower or storm could try to come downhill tomorrow evening, but at least we can catch a good little break for your Thursday. Friday's the day that we'll actually have the humidity coming right back up so we can start off cooler one more morning and then start getting back to spotty rain and storms. It's now holding off until Friday night to Saturday morning that that coverage goes up. So that gives us a couple of days here with spotty rain and storms. Temperatures hanging out in these low to mid 80s for highs. It's just the next couple of mornings will be cooler. Then as that humidity rises before the rain chances go up on Friday, we'll see that really increase for on and off rain and storms at times this weekend on into Monday.